Greetings to all you history enthusiasts out there. Buckle up, as we are about to embark on a riveting journey through time, tracing the footprints of one of the most audacious and pivotal figures in Mexican history, Francisco Pancho Villa. From his humble origins to his meteoric rise as a revolutionary leader, we'll delve into the life and legacy of this legendary man. Fasten your seatbelts as we journey back to the tumultuous times of the Mexican Revolution. Let's get started. In the annals of Mexican history, one name stands starkly illuminated in the blazing sun of audacity and boldness, that of Francisco Pancho Villa. His birth name was Tosa Dorotio Arango Arambula, and his life journey began on June 5, 1878. The indelible imprint that Villa's daring exploits left on the dusty canvas of the Mexican Revolution has reserved his spot as one of Mexico's most potent historical figures. Born amidst the harsh landscapes of poverty in Durango, Mexico, Villa's life was no bed of roses. Raised by parents who toiled hard in labor jobs and shared his childhood space with four siblings, Villa's early life was painted with strokes of hardship. When his father succumbed to the clutch of death, Villa, at the tender age of 15, reportedly used his gun against a Hacienda owner to defend his sister's honor. This act resulted in a fugitive life for Villa, prompting him to adopt the name Francisco Villa, a guise to elude the grasp of the law. His early years saw him don an array of professional hats. A miner, a bandit, a cattle rustler, he filled these roles with aplomb, sewing his name in the fabric of local folk tales. Like a Mexican Robin Hood, he was said to have taken from the affluent to alleviate the plight of the impoverished. However, the seeds of Villa's revolutionary persona were sown during the tumultuous times of the Mexican Revolution, 1910-1920. Aligning himself initially with Francisco I. Madero to dethrone President Porfirio Diaz, Villa showcased his superior military acumen and infectious charisma. Such traits made him a beloved figure among the populace. However, Madero's victory did little to stem the tide of political instability, and in 1913, he fell to an assassin's bullet. The ensuing chaos found Villa in alliance with Venustiano Carranza and Emiliano Zapata against Victoriano Hurto, the alleged mastermind behind Madero's killing. In the annals of the Mexican Revolution, the Battle of Zacatecas in 1914 stands out for its savagery and death toll. Here Villa's division of the North decimated Hurto's forces, forcing the latter's resignation and showcasing the zenith of Villa's military prowess. However, 1915 unveiled a change in alliances as Carranza's erstwhile ally turned into an enemy. A disastrous defeat at the Battle of Celaya sent Villa's fortunes plummeting. By 1916, Villa, the audacious, made headlines yet again with a daring raid on Columbus, New Mexico. The audacious raid, the last significant foreign attack on American soil until Pearl Harbor in 1941, sparked a feudal retaliation by the U.S. Army. Despite the decline of his military power, Villa remained a thorn in the side of Carranza's government until 1920. That year marked Villa's negotiation of amnesty with President Adolfo de Los Angeles Huerta. His reward? A hacienda in Durango, where he sought the tranquility of a quiet life. Alas, the specter of his past didn't rest, and on July 20, 1923, Villa met his untimely end at the hands of unknown assassins. Pancho Villa, a figure that polarizes opinion, has nonetheless played an instrumental role in crafting the visage of modern Mexico. This folk hero's enduring spirit, his defiance against oppression, and the inspiration he provides to myriad film and literature works continue to kindle the flame of his legacy. And there we have it, folks. A fascinating walk down the memory lane of Mexican history, traversing the life and times of Francisco Pancho Villa. We hope this deep dive into Villa's story has offered you a new perspective on the Mexican Revolution and the indomitable spirit that shaped modern Mexico. Don't forget to like, share, and comment about your favorite part of Villa's story. Stay curious, keep exploring, and until our next historical expedition, take care and goodbye.